has its own individual qualities. We think it's a good answer how, in which qualities housing can be done in future. Private, small-scale housing can look like in the future. It's not very usual that you decide to make a house uh, so compact with such a small uh, footprint and then actually organize it in a vertical way. Most of the uh, single family houses are very ground bound, you could say. We call this house the Atlas house because the, the, the curvature in the roof line suggests that the house is uh, carrying the skies, similar to the myth of Atlas who was carrying the skies on his shoulders. The idea of a compact footprint led to a vertical house, which also meant that a rather tiny plot uh, leaves space around the house to have a garden. But an important quality of the uh, building is the roof and the roof terrace, with a, you could say uh, a coverage which actually uh, allows you to be completely private uh, among the crowns of the trees. The windows in this house are green and they really stand out from the facades. And I think we treat the windows uh, as a kind of the jewelry on the facade. Uh, we wanted to make it uh, stand out and not disappear. Also, the building is rotated 45 degrees towards the street. So the focus is very much on the corners. And placing the windows in the corners means that you almost get this kind of bay window experience when you're standing on the inside because you are looking along the trees and along uh, the streets. The interior has different floor levels. They do not show on the outside, but when you enter the house, uh, they are revealed and you see this uh, collection of spaces, each with different heights. And we uh, made differences in these floor heights to make the characters of the rooms uh, uh, unique. When you walk through this house, in every uh, room you have, a, a, let's say, always the view to two or three windows. So you're always looking outside, you're always connected to the light. While the whole house, you could say, is rather basic and you could even say rough. The staircase itself is a very refined and delicate uh, element. In the house, um, it is um, a piece of furniture. The brick in this house plays a bit of an ambivalent uh, uh, role, that it's on one hand very conventional uh, material, everybody recognizes it, knows how to deal with it if you talk about contractors. And on the other hand you can do, you can do things with it that are a bit, uh, uh, you could say, controversial. Brick is something we appreciate a lot because it has this history, it has this richness, it has this quality of aging very well and in a very uh, uh, beautiful way. And we uh, like to exploit the, the qualities of this uh, material a lot. <laughs>